Hi everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain about the problems related to permutations and combination. Let's see the first question in this session. See here, if a polygon has 18 sides, if a polygon has 18 sides, then how many diagonals does it have? How many diagonals does it have? See here, number of diagonals of a polygon. Number of diagonals of a polygon. We have a formula for this one. Number of diagonals is equal to n into n minus 3 by 2. n into n minus 3 by 2. If a polygon is having n sides, uh, then number of diagonals of a polygon is n into n minus 3 by 2. In this case, uh, the value of n is given as 18 n is equal to 18. Substitute n is equal to 18 in this formula so that you will get number of diagonals. Here it is 18 into 18 minus 3. What is 18 minus 3? 15 divided by 2. 18 into 15 divided by 2. Here you can cancel with 2 table. 2 9s. And next 9 into 15 or 15 into 9 which is equal to 135. 135. Therefore, number of diagonals, uh, number of diagonals for a polygon which is having 18 sides, uh, that is uh, 135 diagonals, 135 diagonals. And uh, coming to this uh, permutations and combination, in this, uh, in this uh, concept, how can you solve this problem is, uh, this is uh, based on the formula oriented and uh, if you go with the combinations, uh, Diagonal. We can form a diagonal by taking two points, uh, two sides. Uh, we are taking only two sides. Uh, selecting two sides out of 18. That is 18C2, which is equal to, as we know that 18C2 is nothing but 18 into 17 divided by 2. Right? Here it is uh, 17 into 9, which is equal to 153. We are not getting the same result. Why? Because uh, here, this is not the exact answer. From this 153, here there are 18 sides. There are 18 sides which are not there. You need to subtract uh, these 18 sides. These are the 18 diagonals which are within the sides. So, you need to subtract that value from this uh, uh, N NC2. NC2 is nothing but uh, exactly the number of diagonals for combinations by using combinations that is uh, nc2 minus n nc2 minus n that will give you the exact answer 153 minus 18 which is equal to 135 here also you will get the same result either you can go with nc2 minus n or else you can go with the direct formula of number of diagonals that is uh, n into n minus 3 by Next question. See here. If seven distinct points are selected on a circle, let us take a circle and uh, on a circle there are total seven distinct points. Let us assume that these are the seven distinct points which are selected on a circle. Now, the question what he is asking is find the number of cyclic quadrilaterals. Find the Number of cyclic quadrilaterals formed by using these points. First of all, to solve this this problem, to solve this problem, first of all, we need to know that what is meant by cyclic quadrilater. What is meant by cyclic quadrilater? Here, cyclic quadrilateral is nothing but as we know that cyclic quadri quadrilateral means uh, which are having exactly four sides. Uh, quadrilateral means which are having exactly four sides and four points. Uh, and cyclic quadrilateral means uh, all the vertices, uh, all the vertices of a quadrilateral are lying on the circumference of the circle. Suppose, for example, I will take one small example. Here, this is called as cyclic quadrilateral. If you observe carefully, this point, this point, this point and this point, uh, all these uh, four vertices, all the four vertices are lie on the circumference of the circle that is called as a cyclic quadrilateral. 
Now, as we are having total seven points, as well having total seven points, out of seven points, in order to form a cyclic quadrilateral, we need to select only four. We need to select only four. Selection is nothing but it is a combination. Selecting four points out of uh, seven. That happens in 7C4 ways. Here, 7C4 is equal to 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 divided by 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Here, 4, 4 gets cancelled. 6, 6 gets cancelled. Here, 7 into 5. 7 into 5, which is equal to 35. Therefore, number of cyclic quadrilaterals formed by using seven distinct points on a circle. That is 35. 35 is the required answer for this question. See here, for these kind of problems, especially without knowing the exact meaning of the cyclic quadrilater, it is not at all possible to get the answer. That is the reason why you have to be very much careful about all the things uh, in permutations and combinations, uh, you, uh, where you have to apply that particular permutation or combination, that is one point. And the second point is uh, knowing the condition and understanding the condition, that is the second point. Uh, if you know uh, these two points, definitely it is very simple chapter as comparing with any other. Let's move on to the next question. See here. Find the number of rectangles formed find the number of rectangles formed we want to form a rectangle right we want to form a rectangle when a family of eight parallel lines intersected perpendicularly by another family of six parallel lines if you observe carefully these two are horizontal lines and these two are vertical lines these two horizontal lines, for these two horizontal lines, these vertical lines are perpendicular to each other. Here, if you observe carefully, opposite sides are parallel, opposite sides are parallel and also equal. Now, if we want to form, total we are having eight parallel lines which are perpendicular to another family of six parallel lines. Total, 14 points. These are belongs to one family and these are belongs to another family. And these are, these two families are perpendicular to each other. Now, in order to form a rectangle, in order to form a rectangle, we have to select two horizontal lines from one family and two vertical lines from another family. We should not take all the four lines from single family. Why? Because uh, according to the theory of rectangle, two parallel lines which are perpendicular to another family of uh, parallel lines. So, you must select two lines from these eight. Eight C2 ways. And also you have to select two lines from these uh, six. Uh, 6 C2 ways. Selection is nothing but combination. You need to apply the combination. Here, forming a rectangle is completed at this point. So, you have to use multiplication symbol. Why? Because uh, multiplication symbol is used uh, till the task is completed, whereas the addition symbol is used whenever the task is performed in more than single way. In that case, you can use uh, for entire first way is multiplication, entire second way is multiplication. After that, you need to add both. Uh, I already explained in the last sessions a uh, few examples related to multiplication and uh, addition where you have to use multiplication and addition. Now, we can uh, calculate these two. 8C2. 8C2 is nothing but 8 into 7 divided by 2. And after that, 6C2 means 6 into 5 divided by 2. Here it is uh, 2, 4 times. And here it is 2, 3 times. Now, here you can multiply these two. 4 7 so 28. After that, 3 into 5, 15. Now, multiply these two. Here it is uh, 10 times means 280 plus uh, 5 times means uh, 140. 140 plus 280 which is equal to 
420. Therefore, number of rectangles that can be formed by using eight parallel, a family of eight parallel lines which are perpendicular by another family of uh, six parallel lines. Here the answer is uh, 420 rectangles. Uh, that is the required answer for this question. Guys, you, I hope you understand all the problems in this session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.